midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. Twenty minutes past ten. Keep up, doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm like the explosive one, and we're playing Dr. Decker's uh, dumpster dive because <laughs> he likes to do dive. that. He, yeah, apparently. Jaya just keeps checking over the couch. Yeah, she's got to adjust that Horshack painting. Um, yep. We're going to see about this X button thing. It's yeah. Dr. Decker's resignation. Oh, oh there's Alderby footage. Wait. We watched that already. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, we know yeah. who Dr. Alderby is. Oh, yeah, we do. We do know who he is. Yep. All right, so we will check the, the letter. All right. To whom it may concern, please accept this letter of notice of my intention to resign from my position, Dr. <laughs> Decker. Wow, b -b 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 barn burner. That's really all it has to be, too. Oh yeah, it's I funny. Love, uh, what's that? Go ahead. I was gonna say like one time when I quit a job, they asked me for a letter of resignation because yeah. it, it just proves that you're not fired in case you try to get unemployment. Yeah. And that's literally all I wrote was like, "Tombs may concern. I'm resigning my position out of this day." And I've and I've asked and I've had other people been like, "Oh, I need to resign from my job or whatever." And I'm like, "Yeah, you can just write like whatever." And they're like, "No, but I need to like write this and say I'm like." Do you really think they give an F about why you're resigned? Just say, I'm resigned. All they want is proof yeah. that you quit. Yeah. That's it. That's all it is. Yeah. Mine are usually pretty short and sweet, but, you know. Yeah, I, like, I like writing stuff, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. But I guess if you don't care about the job, you can just be like. Dude, can you just make your signature just a, a single letter and a period? D period. Because I kind of I kind of F with that, but he didn't like put his PhD on there. Like, that's a little weird. Yeah, right. Okay, so all right. So I guess now right. we can ask who Alderby is, but we know who Alderby is because we already watched the footage, but now we can. Uh, we should still find out like who, who he is. Though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Professor Alderby is a trustee. Did I not mention that? Nope, you hadn't. No, thanks. You didn't. But that's cool. I guess we'll... We'll go on to the next person. All right, let's see. Who do you want to talk about? Uh, Bryce, Claire, Elin, Angel of Death, Husband Stabber, or Extra Hour? Okay. Um. Well, let's, for these ones, since who's left, let's let's talk about them and then go talk to that person and then come back to her. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm fine with that. Who do right, you, uh, anyone, I don't care. I'll Make, do Ellen because I, I like her. Ellen seems like a lovely Elin. person. I'm not really sure why she's here. She's the Angel of Death, and it's hard to deal with, man. Uh, okay. Because she's out there killing people. Okay, so let's go to Elin then. Let's talk to her. All right, I'm fine with that. Elin, sweetie. Oh, look at her. Aww, she How does, are you today? She looks like the girl next I door. I had a great day, to be honest. Someone accused me of stealing from my patients, which I would never do. She's like, I'll kill them, but I'm not going to steal from them. Hilda. Did she tell us about Hilda? I know Hilda. Yeah, she said that uh, Hilda was not doing well and that she might. Is that the old lady or the lady who girls being mean to her at work? Um, I believe it's an older lady that she's looking over right now. Oh, That's on okay. her, her assignment. And she said that she wasn't looking well and she might go soon. Gotcha, gotcha. Hilda's the one I mentioned in our last session. Yes, I remember. She's dying. I can tell. I need to see her before it's too late. Okay. I mean, yeah. What do you need to... Why, why do you need to see her? I mean, I know why. Right, Help right. Help her finish her unfinished business. Aw. People who are dying always have things they wish they could do before they go. Yep. We leave a lot of loose ends in our lives. We're very messy that way. Do we? I think so. Especially when you're on your deathbed. That's when you start, like... Uh, Having all the real regrets? <laughs> Having the realizations, I would say, of the things that you haven't completed that you're like, man, I, I probably should have done that. Oh, I feel, I feel I you. I mean, but it, it's in, I feel like it's impossible in a lifetime to get it all out. So those, those type of regrets are going to... What if you just lived your life like you're about to die tomorrow every day? <laughs> Yo, when you said that, I was like, where's that question? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? We get to ask her that? I want 
know what she has to say about that. <laughs> uh, that that's the basis of Carpe Diem, though, my man. Mm-hmm. Can Seize you, that day. <laughs> can you tell me anything about Dr. Depker? It what, must be just keep, oh, keep, with, Hilda, keep yeah. going with Hilda. Yeah. yeah. Hilda wants to see her daughter. She's in Australia, so I'm going to have to use my talent. Oh God! Does she get to? Does she know how to teleport people? So oh, she's you mean to... just get a Zoom call going? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> right, right. Freaking yeah. load up Skype on your Android and just what? What do you do? It's not that hard. Oh, what talent? Okay. Oh yeah, let's go. I can change my skin. Oh my lord! What I look like. I can turn into a patient's loved one. I just um hold their hand and ask them to imagine that the person they want to see is sitting right here next to them, and I become them. Oh, wow. It's like a, the other game. It's how I help them move on. That's how I comfort them. Hmm. Did, so... <sighs> so it's basically the Marvel <laughs> MCU in this game. Everybody just has a special power. Yeah, yeah. Well, and here that reminds me of that the shape shifting detective, which I think is another game that this yeah, same company. Yeah, I remember did. that. So, what if she shape shifted to kill Doctor Decker? Very possible. Yeah. Like, if anything, she just incriminated herself to be in the number one. Like, uh, like she's never off the uh, radar. Radar. Yeah. Right. Okay. She's now, number one suspect in my eyes. Because well, here's the thing. Okay, so like all of these people seem somewhat normal, and then they start talking crazy shit, like. <laughs> Like I get, I get an extra hour in the day. So, so you, you were like, oh, he has a nice little, a nice little clientele here. And all of a sudden, you're like, he was dealing with some really maladjusted people who think they can yeah. like have extra yeah. hours in the day. They live days over. They can yeah. shape shift. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's like, yeah. oh, okay. I'm telling you, they all have powers. It's crazy. Uh, you are accused of stealing. How does this comfort them? Or what are you doing, Valentine? Oh, or can you tell? Wait, we're not. We don't have a skin question. There's no skin question. Where oh, wait, no, no. It says, how does it comfort them? She she said it. Oh, she, yeah, yeah. So that. I mean, no. I you figure, I mean, well, you figure the real question would be like, wait, you can change who you are? That's like, what I'm saying. Not, oh, how does that comfort them? Like, it's normal. I only shift at work to help my patients. I don't have any interest in using it as a party trick or to deceive anyone. It's not to say you haven't done it like that. Yeah. And she, she gives off that innocent vibe, too, right? Yeah. Um, all right. Let's ask her about. Uh, oh, what were you accused of stealing? I guess that continues what she was talking yeah, about. Yeah. This. Well, it started with this. It's a locket. Alice, one of my patients, gave it to me before she died. Uh, then that's not allowed. Is it not allowed? Nope. Ellen accused of stealing. Said she's. Um, can't read because of the horse. Oh yeah, yeah. What else has her pa- have her patients given her? So I guess we need to follow that line of all right. Cool. Questioning. We'll keep moving along with that. What else have your patients given you? Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, I have a few other things. Um, a watch, a ring. One patient gave me uh, a little china bird. One gave me a million dollars. Just trinkets, really. One gave me power of attorney over her and all of her assets. <laughs> <laughs> One gave me the deed to her estate. Yeah, she was like, here, you can just have everything. She, she gave me her all of her life savings and wrote her family out of her will. They're all trinkets? Strictly speaking, all of the patient's belongings should be passed on to family members after they die. But Alice's son never visited. He didn't care about his mom. Why would he care about some worthless piece of jewelry? It just doesn't feel right to me. Why are you wearing it? What do you think, Doctor? So how do we... I want to keep the locket. (laughs) Do I get to bring up policy? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I mean, even as someone who's never been in that industry ever in my life, that that seems off. It seems like the same sort of relationship between, like, therapist and client. It's like, yeah, they, 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 they can even, I mean, they, I'm sure that some people in homes love, mm. like actually love their caretakers yeah. because of the relationship. But like the caretaker is only there because they're being paid to take care of you. Yeah, it's point. not, it, they're being financially compensated. It ain't like they came in off the street as a volunteer and you fell in love with them. And yeah. and, and not to mention that it, it, it is like a part of her estate. 
because all of her belongings are, you know, she can't. The the family gets to decide where those belongings are. Dis- well, right, because what if it's like what if it's like a really family heirloom necklace, and she's like, yeah. "Here, random stranger," because she has dementia or whatever. Exactly. And like, and, like, and then he, it's like promised like, to her daughter. Or, exactly. And even if she like wrote a note, you could like argue that she did it under duress. <laughs> The well, family gets well. Those and most assets. people in homes can't take care of themselves, but th- that could be physically or mentally, you know. So they don't have the wherewithal to like be making full decisions. But in this case, I don't know if it has any point for us to disagree with her in this because this is a this is a, like more of a morality thing. Like I don't right. really care if you want to keep a freaking necklace because you feel like you're right. That, I don't know what that really. She has. feels like she's right. This chicken shapeshift. I mean, I want to talk about your shapeshift. Let me ask this: If you had no knowledge about how things worked, what would your would your answer be like? Would should you keep it? Uh, Yeah, I would say. Let's just say say that because I feel like she doesn't feel like she's doing anything. It's not going to help our relationship to tell her that she's wrong. I like how they worded this. Yes, it's wrong for you to keep the locket, or no, not it's not wrong to keep the locket. So yeah, that's what I say. I would say keep it. I no, it's. Oh yeah, yeah exactly. no, it's not wrong. Oh, yeah, they like almost... I said, the way it's worded is kind of weird. Right? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. That makes me feel much better. Curious. I shouldn't let what Terry oh. says bother me so much. No, you shouldn't. You're right. I don't care about that. All Can right, we talk now... about no shape shifting questions. No more. We're done. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's it. Let's... We're done. Yeah, I guess let's see what she's uh what 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 uh more about Doctor Decker. Yes, I had a session with Dr. Decker on Valentine's Day. Um, oh, she saw him on three at 3 o'clock, okay. Just a few hours later, he was... Angel of death. I still can't get over it. Okay, and I guess what What was she doing Valentine's night? Working? Dating? <laughs> um, actually, I had a hot date. <laughs> it wasn't anything serious, just some guy I know. But... It was a nice date, different to what I'm used to. What are you used to? Wow. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Why was the date different? Yeah, oh yeah. Was he? Uh, was he attractive? It was um, very traditional, old-fashioned. You know, dinner at a nice restaurant. Then we went for a little walk along the pier, held hands, had a bit of a kiss. Uh-oh. Then he called a cab, and I went home. Alone. On Valentine's Day. Hey, still? She got the, the BFE. Oh, yeah. What time did you get the cab? Let's the find BF, that out. The BFE? Boyfriend experience? Yeah. Is that a real thing? I don't know. Yo, ladies out there, I will provide <laughs> you with the boyfriend experience for twenty nine ninety five a day. You, too, can get texts from me asking about how your day was. All right. Well, let's find out what time she got in the cab on the next one. Never mind. Oh, nope, right here. 11 when I left Max. 11. I'm sure you could check with the taxi company if you really wanted to. If you think I need an alibi. <laughs> she, she seems so innocent, too. Okay, so it opened we'll up a whole other... We'll yeah, yeah. So, all right. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already done that, hit that notification bell for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are outta.